Hey y'all, it's Kathleen Henderson from Yankee Homestead with a few tips for you on how to use clove oil, which happens to be this month's free oil of the month. But um, no matter when you are watching this video, I would like to share some of my favorite ways to use this powerful essential oil. So the first way, the first use for clove oil is for um, discomfort in the mouth. This is great for little ones who might be teething. Um, this is also great for people of any age who are having any kind of oral discomfort. Um, for little ones, you want to dilute the clove oil and rub it onto the gums. You can even try rubbing it on the jaw. A good way to test the strength of that dilution is to dilute the clove oil and rub it on your own gums first before rubbing it on your baby's gums. And for adults, you can also dilute it or even try it full strength rubbing right on the spot of discomfort. You can also swish with water in the mouth. That's another good way to target oral discomfort. Um, it's super effective. In fact, I've even heard stories from people who use it for trips to the dentist to allow them to avoid using other things that a dentist might want to use um, to provide comfort for you during certain procedures. So give that a shot with your clove oil. Um, another way that clove oil is really useful is just for oral health in general. So you can use this in a number of ways to promote great oral health. You can swish it with water in your mouth. You can put a drop on your toothbrush every day. You can put a drop, add a drop to your toothpaste every day. You can, if you do oil pooling, clove is a good oil to use with the coconut oil in your mouth. Um, any of those, any way that you can get it in your mouth and on your gums and all around is going to help enhance your oral health. Um, another way to use clove oil is on the skin, especially for those little bumps that are fungal in nature and are very persistent and hard to get rid of and are very um, tenacious. They really take deep root in the skin. So we actually have a personal experience with this at my house and you can find more information about this on the blog at yankeehomestead.com. Um, one of my sons had this skin issue that I'm talking about on his toe and it just kept getting worse and worse. We tried a number of oils on it. All of them were diluted. Um, it was not effective until we started using undiluted clove oil directly on that little skin growth. One drop daily. Clove is a hot oil so you want to be careful not to get it on the surrounding skin um, undiluted like that but it is okay to use it undiluted directly on that kind of skin irritation. Um, you can use a toothpick or you can just drop it really carefully depending on how big of an area that is. Um, but we just applied one drop every day and we were amazed at how quickly and how effectively the clove oil um, dealt with that issue for him and removed it. It was, it was gone and it hasn't come back. So that was pretty awesome. Um, another way to use clove, clove and tea tree, doTERRA's tea tree is called melaleuca, are both good for preventing warding off head bugs. So if your kids are in school and that is a concern for you, you can get clove and tea tree oil into their scalps. You can add it to the shampoo. Another good way to do it is to make a spray. Use an eight ounce spray bottle of water and add three drops each of melaleuca and clove oil and spray that into the hair, work it in, get it onto their scalp, um, do that daily. Or if there's an active threat going on at your school or your house, um, you would wanna use it even more often than once a day. Okay, another great thing about clove is that it's a powerful antioxidant and it supports the immune system um, so to get all of those great benefits, you can take clove internally in a capsule, empty veggie cap. You can add it to your water, just one or two drops daily. Um, or you can apply it topically, you roll it onto your feet, your spine, even your neck. If you've been exposed to stuff, um, you can use diluted clove and rub it on your neck and chest and just help support your 
immune system and get some of that antioxidant benefit. Um, and speaking of rubbing clove on this area, clove is also good for thyroid health. So here is a recipe that uses clove oil to support the thyroid. Take a 10 milliliter roller and add five drops of clove, five drops of lemongrass, five drops of blue tansy, and eight drops of myrrh in that 10 milliliter roller. Dilute it with a carrier oil, oil like fractionated coconut oil, and roll it onto the base of the neck where the thyroid is daily. Okay, and the last way for using clove that I wanna share with you is in um, diffuser blends. Clove is obviously a great aroma that we associate with like the holidays, spices, baking, all of that like around Thanksgiving and in the fall and even Christmas. Um, there are a lot of wonderful diffuser blends, but here are two of my favorites that use clove. The first one is called October Breeze and it calls for four oils, Siberian fir, cinnamon, Douglas fir, and clove. You want to use four drops Siberian fir, two drops cinnamon, two drops Douglas fir, which is an amazing oil that I love, and one drop of clove. Okay, that's the first diffuser blend, October Breeze. The second one is called Home Sweet Home, and it's three oils, um, tangerine, rosemary, and clove. I love rosemary in the diffuser with anything, so try it with tangerine and clove. Three drops tangerine, three drops rosemary, and one drop clove. And there is an eighth way to use clove that I, clove oil, that I forgot to mention. Clove is really great for drawing out splinters. Have you ever tried that? If you get a splinter, you can put a drop of clove on that spot and just wait a little while, give it some time, and the clove oil will help to draw out the splinter. So. If you have tried clove oil and you have another awesome use to add to my list, please share a comment so we can learn from you too. And um, I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel here at youtube.com slash Yankee Homestead. And um, make sure that you don't miss out on any of my other essential oil tips and videos for healthy living. And until next time, happy oiling.